Hey, what's up? I'm Matt from the Bronx. Ken from the Bronx. And these are some of our marquee memories. This marquee memory was my first ever punk rock show that I went to by myself. I actually had my mom drop me off and it was at the Ice House in Fullerton. It was the Vandals, a band called HFL, another band called Glue Gun. And it very quickly escalated into a full-scale riot. It just got completely out of control. There was a bunch of fights. Security was getting beaten up. I was there completely overwhelmed by myself, a little bit scared and, and loving every second of the craziness. The Vandals never even got to play. The fight got pushed outside. Cops showed up. At one point, a cop car got turned over and I had to call my mom to come pick me up. <laughs> I've always been drawn to the kind of craziness of punk rock shows. It's just something that we love, the kind of rawness and unpredictability of the moment. Our fans are pretty cool. You know, there hasn't been any cop cars tipped over yet, but future is unwritten. So my uh, marquee memories is Monsters of Rock in 1988 at the LA Coliseum. I was put on by Van Halen and it was Scorpions, Dokken, and Metallica and Kingdom Come. I just moved from Japan like a few months before. I was living in San Diego at the time, so me and a couple friends, two cars, drive up like at seven in the morning. Metallica comes on, plays like one note, one riff, and the whole stadium just erupts, goes crazy. Everyone just like climbs over the fence, pushing the fence down. Everyone's on the field. Metallica has to stop playing. Everyone on, in Metallica was like on stage saying, come on, come on, you know? So everyone is just, you know, bulldozing down. <laughs> Someone throws a fruit and hits him in the face like a peach. <laughs> and two seconds later, a cop or a security guy comes and just tackles him. So everyone's on the field now. Metallica comes back on. And it's crazy. And then Dokken had to follow that. So. <laughs> This marquee memory is about the time that we almost got annihilated uh, <laughs> trying to play in place of Slayer. It was at the Soundwave Festival in Australia. Do you remember what year it was? 2011, 12, 13? Somewhere in that window. Slayer had been out partying all night and his voice was fucked. It was a great party vibe going around just between all the bands. So we're getting ready to go on kind of later in the day and we get, a, we get a, a call from production like, hey, we need a favor. Slayer isn't gonna play. <laughs> Tom's voice is fucked. We need you guys to play in their slot. We've always been a band that's like, whatever, there's a challenge, let's get to it, you know? So we say yes, we're all, okay, cool. So they're like in the process of moving our gear over to the stage and they take us over to the stage. <laughs> they take us over to the stage and we get there right when they announce that Slayer is not gonna play. The whole place just starts booing and then that escalates into trash being uh, thrown they're trying and to, all they're... of a sudden the whole stage <laughs> is just covered in trash everyone's throwing beer people are like screaming and it's getting super volatile real quick and we're all looking at each other like oh shit you know <laughs> like we're gonna go up there and we're gonna just get annihilated but we were ready to do it the festival saw what was happening they said look you guys we love you we appreciate you but we cannot put you up on that stage. We don't want you guys to die. <laughs> because we don't want to be liable for anything that the Slayer fans might do to you guys. I wish it would have happened. It would have been absolutely insane, but I probably wouldn't be here telling the story if it did happen. Thank you very much for checking out our marquee memories. Make sure to check us out on tour to make some of your own. <laughs>